Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from My Color Screen, the place where you come if you want to recreate beautiful looking Android home screens as well as dark screens. So in this video tutorial, I'll be explaining to you how to recreate a very simple and elegantly designed Android lock screen. Let us begin. Great, so like I said, today's video tutorial is a very simple one as it's for a lock screen because there's not much to it, but that doesn't mean that it still looks really good and it's still really, really functional. Today's lock screen is one that's trending very well on the My Color Screen website. It is titled UVA or UVA, I guess you could call it if you really wanted to, but it's by the author Pedro Paniago. I think, yeah, I think I'm getting it better. But he made a simple, simply fantastic looking lock screen. It's got everything that you basically need when you un want to unlock your phone. It's got your time there. It's got how many missed calls you have, how many unread messages, your battery level as well, which is also indicated by this pretty cool looking battery circle there and the little weather button, which looks really neat. But most of all, when you want to unlock your phone, just tap the lock and it'll unlock your phone. I think that's really, really cool. So if you'd like to know how to recreate this brilliant looking Android lock screen, let us begin with today's very simple video tutorial. Great, so before we begin, two apps that you'll definitely meet, be needing. One will be Widget Locker. It is a paid app, but once you get it, you'll fall in love with the amount of different things that you can actually do with a lock screen. Check in the description below also for a complete guide to Widget Locker. Secondly will be UCCW. It's free and works fantastic for setting up those brilliant looking skins up there. So those are those done. Remember to also look in the description below for the files needed to set up this phone. You either want to copy them onto your computer, then onto your phone, or just straight onto your phone by using a simple file explorer. So once you got those done, all you want to do now is go into your widget locker. We'll begin with the setup. Great, so like I said, all you want to do is to now go into your widget locker once you've got all your files onto your phone. And if there's anything that you see, such as widgets or icons, just get rid of them either by holding down and selecting remove or just dragging them into the X or the bin at the bottom. So we want to get into our settings now. We're going to click on the white little settings icon at the top there. So just selecting that will bring up a new, really refreshed widget locker. I really enjoy this new type of setup. They've gone for that holo type of theme, but enough about that. We're going to be jumping straight into our look and feel. So once we select it, we'll bring up a few options. We want to select alternative wallpaper as now we'll be changing the wallpaper. So if we have to bring up our select wallpaper, if we select it now and we want to go select select whatever gallery app you want. I always prefer using Quick Pick. And now we can go into that folder that you've copied onto your phone where it comes with that wallpaper that you would need. So you just select the one that's pretty blank and it's just got that quite a cool purple effect onto it and you want to select save. It'll now set the wallpaper for you without any hassle. You can now go into your background tint where you can choose how much you want it to tint if you want it very dark or very bright. I always like to keep it a little bit tinted just so I know what's going on. From here, we want to go into deselecting our label shortcuts, but enabling hide notification bar. Why is that? Well, we just don't want to have this thing at our top getting in the way of a very good looking lock screen. And then last thing you want to be doing is selecting your layout, where as you can see, we've got a new tablet here, but don't worry, that's just your phone. You want to be selecting this little anchor here and bring it all the way to the bottom so that it fills up the entire screen. And you also want to be deselecting automatically determined grid size as now you can have your own grid size, whatever you want it to be. I prefer going for something quite large. Uh, 12 by 12 seemed to not work too well, so I went for a 12 by 11. That seemed to get it pretty good, just for the columns. One layer seemed to look a bit better, so keep that in mind. Start with 12 by 12, if it doesn't work, 12 by 11 should be much better for you. That is your look and feel done. If we select back now, we next want to go into our advanced settings. One thing you always want to be enabled when you're in your advanced settings is widget overlap. It doesn't hurt to have it enabled as some phones will be different and will require having a set such as a UCCW skin overlapping on your home screen. So always just keep that in mind. Another thing you want to take note within the advanced settings is sometimes people will push the menu button and it'll straight unlock your phone. So if you want to disable that or work or find a way around that, you want to go into home helper. From here, you want these three selected. You want home helper, component, home helper, block home, and block home in other apps. So now when you push your menu button, it'll just bring up your standard lock screen. So keep that in mind, and it does tend to help out a bit. So that is your widget locker settings done. If we go back 
it should have everything blank remember to get rid of anything and that brilliant looking purple wallpaper which will now be ready for the UCCW skins greatness so for these UCCW skins very very simple to add all you want to be doing is holding down on the home screen or the lock screen you want to be selecting widgets now and you want to be scrolling all the way down to this fantastic app we call UCCW doesn't matter what size you want to choose as you'll be resizing it anyway so yeah doesn't really matter at all so next we're going to be selecting our user at the top here this little corner icon there once this is open you want to go find that folder in your SD card where you've copied that UVA folder so say if I've copied it into one main folder it will be over here in UVA and now it'll come up with our two U zips remember don't try and unzip them or do anything else just put them into onto your phone and UCCW will pick them up so for the UVA clock we're just going to be selecting it now and it's just gonna it's gonna import it for you very easy to do you can now hold down and move it wherever you want it but now it'll come up with a hand which you now want to select gonna hopefully show up a clock however if it doesn't that means that you just need to be re-adding it from that UCCW list so you do the exact same replication method but instead of selecting use it at the top you'll now be selecting it from that whole list of UCCW skins that you've configured onto your phone so now you just want to get it more or less in the top half of the screen as next we'll be adding in the second skin here we'll be doing exactly the same method except now you want to be selecting the UVA notification user so then it'll import it for you you tap the hand you resize it and all is well and good however some people still might have a, um, some issues with the weather where it doesn't show any weather that what you can do is change it within the UCCW settings you just have to go into the main app which you'll find in your app drawer go into your settings and then simply go into the weather provider change it and it should hopefully start showing you up some cool looking icons there so there I have resized my UCCW skin very easy to do now there's two ways of setting up your UCCW skin so that when you tap them nothing happens one way is by selecting it it'll bring up the UCCW editor if you wanted to be doing something when tapping it say if you want to update your weather all you'd have to do is select the background icon here this will bring up your select object list like we see before us next if we select our hotspots like I said you definitely want to check in the link below if you have no idea how hotspots are working or what they ex exactly do but pretty much this little block over here where that weather icon is if your lock widgets mode is on and you select it it will now update your weather when you tap it so if you like how that is you're welcome to add in any other hotspots that you want but for now I'm just gonna leave it like this like the, author, the way the author intended just go into our menu here you want to be selecting lock widgets and then turn it on remember if you can't get into that editor you have to go into the main app and then turn it off before you can get into this editor and yeah so from here like I said lock widgets is on so now when you tap that weather it'll update it just so if you really want to get that updated weather just select it and you can see what you have the other way of customizing UCCW so that you can't edit it is that just holding down on the skin and selecting block clicks that just means so now nothing will happen not even updating the weather so those are your two options finally we're going to be adding in a great looking little unlock button at the bottom let's get into it alrighty then so for this final setup or final little task here what you want to be doing is adding in that custom slider that little unlock button in order to do that we simply have to hold down at the bottom here and select custom slider now we're going to leave it as the stock one there's just a few things we want to be changing firstly we'll take the left little lock icon here swipe it to the right and we want to select on our actions we want to select disabled it is gone we do not need it same goes for the sound icon over here select the right one swipe it to the left and select disabled boom it's gone we do not need it but however we do need the one in the middle so just simply select it now it's now been selected but now our actions we want it to unlock so under widget locker actions we want to go and select unlock comes up with that icon there we do not want it we want to change it so we want to be selecting icon over here and from here we want to go into our gallery you can choose whatever gallery app you want I just tend to go for quick pick so from here we can now select that unlock icon that you've copied onto your phone hopefully then remember that one that comes with our wallpapers so there is our unlock button there don't have to crop it or anything we just select the tick and booyah it is done all we want to do now however is select done 
and there's, it's going to be a bit teeny tiny but all you want to do now is hold down on it let's see get it there and select resize now all we want to do is resize it so that it's a bit bigger get it like that like i said having widget overlap will come in very handy for these type of situations so there is our pretty much our lock screen complete there we have it it's a very simple tutorial but like i said lock screens are tend to be easier do tend to be easier just because there's not a lot going on because you just want to have a simple setup when unlocking your phone so to test it out you can just tap that unlock button it's going to unlock your phone and this is tested out for reals we're just going to close it now unlock your phone then unlock it and there we have a brilliant looking lock screen i really enjoy this setup i'm definitely going to be keeping this lock screen for a few days until something else comes around but i really really enjoy it and unlocking it let's see boom just like that so I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you very much guys for watching. If you like the if you like the video, please give it a like. And if you really, really enjoyed it, then you definitely want to subscribe to our My Color Screen channel as y'all. We really enjoy teaching you guys, giving you guys tips on how to make great looking home screens and lock screens. You definitely want to check out our Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter community and Instagram communities as y'all we always want to be expanding so thank you very much guys for watching marco here from my color screen and as always don't stop customizing